Bayview Church. Our service uh, this evening is for Monday, Thursday. This is the day that Christ, the Lamb of God, gave himself into the hands of those who would slay him. This is the day that Christ gathered with his disciples in the upper room. This is the day that Christ took a towel and washed the disciples' feet, giving us an example that we should do to others as he has done to us. This is the day that Christ our God gave us this holy feast, that we who eat this bread and drink this cup may be proclaimed his holy sacrifice and be partakers of his resurrection, and at the last day may reign with him in heaven. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Let us pray. O God, your Son, Jesus Christ, has left to us the meal of bread and wine in which we share his body and his blood. In his great act of love, may we show in our lives the fruits of his redemption. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 116, verses 
10 through 17. I love the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I call upon him. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things that he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vow to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his servants. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the God Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem.
nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have loved for one another. The Gospel of Christ. Praise be to you. Stop talking in code. 
will understand. I suspect that several of them thought they did understand. Peter, Bobby, had worked most of it out. He wasn't happy about all this dying talk, but he was convinced it would make sense when it happened. Judas certainly felt that he knew what would happen. He'd taken control for himself. He was no one's fool. But what about Philip, Matthew, Jude? What about the woman followers? What must they have thought? All they wanted was to understand. To be reassured that everything would work out okay. They didn't realize that they were trying to understand things that made no sense. Things that were beyond anyone's capacity to understand. Jesus was certain that this would be that last time that they would meet together. He wanted to give them a final message. Something that they could carry with them. A sign. A symbol that they could refer back to in the coming days, the coming months, the coming years. The time was short, so it was important that the message be very clear. So after the meal, Jesus got up from the table. He took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself. I wonder what the disciples thought of this. They wanted something plain, something clear, and they probably felt this wasn't. Jesus poured water into a basin and began to wash their feet. Hang on. This was the work of servants. Certainly not the master of the feast. They would all have been shocked, but it was Peter who really challenged him. No, I won't have the master wash my feet. This can't be allowed. It just wasn't proper. And what does Jesus say to Peter? It must be this way. If you're going to be with me, then you must allow me to be with you. And you must all be servants of one another and servants of my flock. And typical of Peter, once he began to understand, he wanted to supersize it. Well, that's, that's good, but why not wash my hands and my head? But Jesus told them that this was a sign, not to be confused with bathing. Listen, this is from Luke's Gospel. After he had washed their feet, he put on his robe and had returned to the table. He said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you're right, for that is what I am. If I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their masters, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them.
Let us confess our faith as we say, We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate for the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. By your incarnation and your birth in poverty, by your baptism, your fasting, and your trials in the desert, O oh Lord, hear our prayer. By your agony in the garden, by your cross and passion, by your death and burial, by your resurrection and ascension, and by the gift of your Holy Spirit, O Lord, hear our prayer. In times of trouble and in times of well-being, at the hour we die and on the day of your glory, O Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver us from war and violence, from hardness of heart, and from contempt of your love and your promises. O Lord, hear our prayer. Enlighten our lives with your word, that in it we may find our way and our hope. O Lord, hear our prayer. Assist your people in every land. Govern them in peace and justice. Defend them from the enemies of life. O Lord, hear our prayer. And now, as our Savior taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever.
did some to him. They went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Though all become deserters because of you, I will never desert you. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed. My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, so, could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray with me. Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, he went away for the second time and prayed. My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same word. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. God, but graciously we pray on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. 